Now, the president of Gabon, Ali Bongo, is reported to be under house arrest along with members of his family after army officers claimed they've seized power. They said they were annulling the results of Saturday's election in which President Ali Bongo was declared the winner. This is the moment the military made the announcement on national television. Au nom du peuple gabonais. In the name of the people of Gabon and as guarantors of the institutions, we have decided to defend peace by putting an end to the current regime. To this end, the general elections of the 26th of August 2023 and the truncated results are cancelled. The borders are closed until further notice. All the institutions of the Republic are dissolved. Well, now let's cross live to Michael Amoa, who's a visiting senior fellow specialising in politics and international relations at the London School of Economics. Thanks very much for joining us. Let's start with the basics here. Gabon is a country that we don't talk about every day here on the BBC. What exactly is going on uh, at the moment? Well, exactly is going on at the moment is actually that uh, there's been a recent election and it would appear that the military are not quite happy about the results that have been announced. They are quite definitive that it, it was rigged. Now, Gabon has a history of, you know, the Omar Bongo family, the Odimba family, ruling for several decades. Uh, Omar Bongo Odimba ruled for 42 years, and afterwards his son was imposed on the country, and he is now attempting his third consecutive presidential term. And they're not quite happy about it. And what usually tends to happen in Gabon is that after the elections, internet is shut down so that opposition parties are not able to collate independently the results and the government announces what they wish and get on with it. And I think this time uh, the country has had enough. The military decided that they would have to intervene. And that's what's happening at the moment. And tell us more about Ali Bongo and his family. Well, Ali Bongo began to rule sometime in the 1960s, and he ruled for 42 years. And there are a couple of you know, French military bases in Gabon, and the agreement was that any time there was an attempted coup, that the military base would intervene on his behalf. So he managed to hang on for 42 good years. Um, and afterwards, when he died, his son was, by the influence of France, his son was imposed on a country, and because of the military might on base, it has been impossible to really get rid of him. And I think that he's done the two terms. The son, Odimba, has done the two, Ali Bongo has done the two terms, and it would appear that he has attempted the third term, and even the third term, the citizens are quite definitive that the election has been rigged. And they thought that there, there has to be a way of intervening to stop the Omar Bongo monarchy, as it were. Michael Amoa from the London School of Economics, thank you very much for bringing us more insight on that developing story from Gabon.